Hey guys, it's Craig Cruz Mar here, back with another live stream. Alright. I'm going to be doing uh, this illustration. This is uh, for one of my clients. It's a series called Loa. It's a prom promo piece. Um, I was gone for a little bit there. And uh, I'll explain why here in a second, for those of you who may not know. I'm just going to go on here and share it to my Facebook and Instagram. Four people, four people are on. Woo! Let's see if I can make sure I get these comments. Show all comments. Hey, Dart514. kind of you but yeah I got good news good news for sure super excited So, is anyone new to this stream? Well, new to my channel? Oop, my screen's going dark. <laughs> your name it's all good everyone makes stuff everyone makes a name they're like whatever at first did I ever use Medibang paint yes I have and uh, I like it although I wish on the Medibang paint app for iPad Pro 12.9 inch they would they would uh, fix the blurry screen because it kind of makes me mad that it's that blurry. Like Procreate is so much more crystal clear when it comes to the screen. <clears throat> Eight people? Seven people. Someone left. I'm sorry. This is taking forever. This always takes forever for me to do this. I need to find a new system, which I will be soon. I promise. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Five people. I'm losing people's interest. No. All right. One down and Instagram to go. Oh, no. Bam. And this shouldn't be that hard now that I actually got the picture. How many minutes am I in and I'm just sitting here? See, now it's down to three people. They're like, Get out of here. Four minutes. Oh boy. Well, there we go. And share. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm already pretty uh, far along on this. Um, I, I got some stuff I need to do on it. <clears throat> oh, a lot of stuff. Um, I got to kind of... the. I'm going to be changing the color of these uh, because of the camera onto the screen it's kind of the colors are inaccurate from what they actually look like if I were to export it but these are much brighter than they are on my screen from what you guys are seeing and I need to make these brighter 
I need to, you know, put in detail everywhere. I need to get the lighting right. It's a process. It's a process. But, yeah. So, the good news is, as you might see from the cover title. Let's see if I can get this to focus better. Um, from the title, I got published with uh, with another another company, a comic company. Um, they're called Monthly Hype. Um, and I'm going to be debuting in August 1st with a series called Arms of the Dragon. And this is the illustration I did for it. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty awesome. I'm really excited. Um, and thanks to them, uh, and, uh, this commissioner as well, this guy, He's an awesome guy. Thanks to this company and that commissioner, um, I'm going to be able to get a laptop. Or not laptop. I'm going to be able to get a desktop. And, uh, here, let me find this file. I wanted to find the, the file I actually did for, for this. Oh, I guess it's not on here. I think I exported it somewhere. But, yeah. Um, oh, there it is. What the? So this is, I wanted to show you guys the full res here, although Procreate did something wonky and it's technically not full res. Um, but yeah, this is full res. If I zoom up, you guys can see the screen tone and whatnot. I did this all on my iPad Pro. Um, I inked and everything on, um, I inked and everything on Procreate, and then I uh, screen toned it on Medibang, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm published. Uh, I got got on the team of Monthly Hype. If you guys want to check out the company I'm talking about, um, the link is, I believe, the first link in the description it says Monthly Hype and Company or slash Company, and it's their Facebook page. So, um, the company, the magazine hasn't officially debuted, it would debut in July, but, um, my first chapter with, I'm the artist for the series, and then there's two writers, um, the series I'm, I'm doing the art for, uh, will be, may, its first chapter will be, um, debuting in their August issue on August 1st, but yeah, so this company is some real stuff here, um, I'm, I actually officially just uh, purchased a computer, and good news, I originally thought it was going to be coming in later, like next week, but it's actually going to be coming in, um, it, uh, FedEx says it's going to be coming this Saturday, which is my day off, and I'm really hoping that's true. Ooh. I'm super excited, I have never had a desktop. So, okay, I need to figure out what I'm doing so I can actually draw and talk at the same time here. So that's there. Let's see what these are. Okay, so that's that. I want to go under this part. I wanted to post some videos. Um, I was, I had some videos already to edit and stuff to just put up of some of my other works, some speed paints, <coughs> and that's when I actually got um, contacted by the company, and that's when I was like, oh, yeah, it was a really good, really good opportunity, I had to get some work done on it, and, um, yeah, I had to get the work done, I'm going to make some headway on that. Actually, gonna just make it darker, and then I can change the color as I go. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna be starting the uh, rough draft. Uh, I already did. I'm um, already already did the storyboard. I'm gonna be starting the rough draft. I think I have like a page or two of the storyboard left, and uh, I'm gonna be doing the rough draft very shortly here. And, yeah, 
pretty awesome. I can't really give you numbers on uh, how much I'm making or anything, but let's just say I was very close to leaving the job I'm at. Um, and they're providing me with enough money for me to technically sustain a living off of. But with uh, taxes and everything, if I were to deduct taxes and I wasn't smart about it, I would have been screwed and I wouldn't want to do that. So I decided to keep the job I have. Um, and uh, my plan is to save up money enough money for a whole year's worth of being able to sustain myself for a whole year and uh, I will then quit my job and then I will uh, well I at least want to uh, gain enough money to, to sustain myself for um, three-fourths of a year so but um, yeah, and that's without taxes, like, everything would be raw money that I would be using for that, so I want to save up for that, and once I actually do that, I don't know how long it'll take me, it'll take me a little while, but, um, unless my, uh, rates get hired a little bit in the company within, you know, the next, uh, half year or something, um, depending on how the series goes too, uh, I could, I could potentially quit my job like that, but as for now, my plan is to gain all that money, quit, and then I will, um, focus on doing my commissions, um, my YouTube channel, and I plan to, I'm planning to do a Patreon, and, um, I wanted uh, Monthly Hype and Patreon to be my complete steady that I know will come in each month. Not saying that, like this commissioner, th this commissioner, um, they will actually have money that will be coming in each month too. And I actually have, uh, I had a plan for that as well, but I, I didn't feel like it was the right moment. Because right now I have a lot of things I need to sort out and pay for and get done before I uh, take that leap of faith. Because if you, uh, leaps of faith are good, but if you don't, you know, plan properly, the leaps of faith will fail. And I don't want my leap of faith to fail. All right. Sucks cuz of the way I did this. I have to actually manually put in these all of these. Are these in a separate layer? They are. All right. So I want to try to get these buildings all kind of a different color from each other. Um I think I want to do this one. The <laughs> same color. Um, oh yeah, let me, uh, see if there's any comments I can answer here. 14 people. Hello, everyone. Let me see if I can get these comments to pop up on my phone. <laughs> hey, Sandino. Alright. Do I have the biggest iPad Pro? Yes, I do. Dart 514. Because I'm looking forward to the smallest. Yeah, the smallest is still good too, though. Like, I only draw with a small portion of this screen anyways. So I feel like the small would do just fine. Um, I did want to uh, say I actually changed my screen protector um, to a glossy one. Because I just wanted to change, you know. And I, I really like crisp screens. And, you know... I think I've had this for, I've had this probably for about five, six months, and uh, yeah, 
I and I had the screen protector on that whole time, and I really liked the matte screen protector, but or sorry, the uh, anti glare screen protector is just enough tooth, but honestly, the slipperiness of the screen doesn't bother me because I've gotten used to it, and honestly, my uh, Intuos Pro small version. Um, that one, the center of it got worn down a lot, so that one ended up being really slick in the middle too, so I had to be very, uh, I had a very uh, plasticky nib on it, I didn't use any of the more rubbery or papery ones, um, so I had to be very steady with my hand with that anyway, so I was pretty used to my hand being steady and the glossy screen doesn't really bother me, and it actually, I really like this feeling. And this will definitely improve the lifespan of this nib, for sure, no doubt about it. <laughs> but, anyways, for anyone who's interested um, on what kind of computer I'm getting, uh, and that is coming to me, yay, um... The computer I'm getting is a Mac. You're like, oh, get out of here. What? Get out of here. Nah, yeah, <laughs> it's a Mac. Uh, I'm not proud of my decision, but it was all strategy-based. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. It was strategy-based, okay? Um, not saying Macs are bad. It's just I'm really used to Windows, and they are much cheaper. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the reason why I actually went for a Mac is because I have the iPad Pro, and I plan on purchasing, um, AstroPad Studio, and I plan on using that, using this as my Cintiq replacement for now, because I do not, okay, let me rephrase this, I do have the money to buy a full-blown-out a uh, 5k um iMac and then a uh, Cintiq I have that money but I'm not going to waste my money like that cuz I have my plan <laughs> in store I want to save that money to you know quit my job cuz when I quit my job I'm going to have so much more time on my hands that I'm going to be able to just smash out projects like crazy and have art as a full-time job but, um, yeah, I got a Mac. And, honestly, um, I don't know much about computers, so I spent, like, three days sitting there just, like, freaking, what is going on here, all these spots? I spent, like, three days sitting there just, okay, while well, I was doing work at the same time, but I was much more distracted than I would have been if I was just doing the work instead of listening to all these videos, but I was listening to all these videos because there's so much crap involved, like, with, uh, Apple, they got the Fusion Drive, and then the, 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 the other ones, I forgot what they're called, not the SSD, but, uh, the ROM drives or whatever, I don't know, the ones that are slow as hell, and I was like, what the, f why would they even sell that? And, um, yeah, those, uh, some of those are slow as hell when you get the, uh, the base models. And I didn't want a fusion drive because everyone was saying, if you have the money and you're planning on keeping that computer for a while, go for the SSD. And I was like, uh, what the hell's an SSD? So I did a bunch of research and I learned a lot about computers and now I know what to look for in the future. Let me see, where am I? Okay, I was fixing that. I'm going to go back down to this layer. Oh, I hope you guys didn't hear that. You heard nothing. Let's pretend that never happened. Alright, I'm going to color this in. And I need to fix his hoodie. It looks kind of brown, but that's actually supposed to be black. And I think I just need to change the color tone of it. So 
because it was originally more black. I, I just need to figure out, um, I think the street's also going to be more lit up than what it is. Honestly, I, you want my honest opinion? Not opinion, my honest answer to why this is actually hard for me. This is my first real cityscape colored background. I have never colored a cityscape before, <laughs> especially in the dark with a bunch of different little light sources from lights and it's going to be interesting but hey i love learning this type of stuff so <clears throat> um hmm. i think i went into something i'm about to look at the comments here All right, I'm going to look at the comments here. Be right back. You should be way more popular. You should be way more popular. Well, I wish I was, but thank you. Maybe I will someday. By the way, do you still have the old man drawing a wallpaper because I want it? No, I actually don't. I actually don't know uh, who that's from. I think I found it from some search. And that's one of the reasons why I actually took it off, because a lot of people are asking me, and I have no idea where I got it from, even though I like it. I was just like, eh, I should really take this off, because I, I really liked it, but a lot of people are asking me where I got it, and I really just don't know. Um, let me go down here. I'm going to start getting some of this detail blotched in. I want to go to something at least a little softer and blotching in some darks. And uh, I want to go look at some comments here as well. Watch out, crop shot. Crop shot. Uh, do I game? No, I don't game. I mean, I like games. I would like to game. But honestly, maybe this is a whole other video, but and I don't want to get into it now. <laughs> but games and I have love-hate relationship. Hey, there he is. Something off, something off. I think... For Chaz Lee. Yeah, I mean, if you're not in any rush to get, uh, get one and you're not like me where I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. like, I... I have a problem with wanting... Something like touch screen and pen based. I love phones and stuff like that so much and pen tablets. I would not mind reviewing a lot of stuff, <laughs> honestly. But I'm not really a reviewer. I could do more, but I, don't, I, I have to pick and choose what I want to do because I don't have time <laughs> to do reviews, really. Or else I would have done a Procreate review. I will be doing an Astropad review. For sure. Alright. I will definitely be doing an Astropad review because there are some questions. And trust me when I say I am a very, very picky artist. And when it comes to making manga, comics, or illustrations um, in a stressful or fast pace which for someone who goes um, maybe slower, I will let them know whether or not it's a good product for them and if it's worth it, because I'm really hoping it is. Um, Astropad Studio should have gotten rid of a lot of the problems from Astropad, and I'm really hoping this is true. But... Um... Hey yo, Blanc Noir. I remember when I first said your name. I was like Blanc Noir. I had no idea what I was saying, but hey. <laughs> Apple Pencil battery is low. All right. Well, I want to answer some. I'm going to zoom out here, and I'm going to let it sit there for a second. I want to answer some questions, or I'm going to read some of these comments while my Apple Pencil charges. It would have lasted another like half an hour, but I'm just going to let it charge. Let's go. 
<laughs> you're on a streak for being on any, every stream. Awesome, man. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Master X Manas. Yeah, Blanc Neuer. Yeah, I really like the... Yeah, I really like slippery screens too. What, uh, Blanc Neuer, what contest? You said, oh, I just saw the title. Did you win the contest? Uh, for what? For I win two contests right now. I'm in, um, I'm in, uh, the Medibang, uh, manga, the Shonen Weekly manga competition. I'm in an illustration competition in, uh, Medibang. And then I'm in an illustration competition for Draw Crowd. Don't Cintiq. Don't send takes have paper screens. Um, I honestly think that I've never actually used one, but they're probably not far off from the, from the, um, what's it called? The Intuos Pro that I have. It may be a little bit more matted, but, um, I don't, I don't think they have that papery of a screen because, I mean, and even if they do, I'm pretty sure it's still a little glossy in its own way. I think it's like tooth tooth glossy. <laughs> it's it's a mixture of both. Um cuz I mean I've watched a crap ton of reviews, so I'm uh, I'm also at least a little bit no knowledgeable on like some of the textures for the screens. Oh, Blanc Norris already talking about it. A little bit. I think there's a texture problem with me. Oh, you have the the MCAT. I'm taking that. That's one of those like big tests. Like each state has like their own name for their big tests. Yeah, definitely. Well, you gotta get your stuff done. I mean, this stuff matters. So, I'm gonna take drink coffee real quick. But uh, yeah, Blanc Neuer. I'm actually <clears throat> I actually don't have a whole lot of time. I still actually have. Uh, I have just as much time as I did before. <laughs> now, I'm just not, I'm putting my own projects on the side completely because um, this money is changing just, I wouldn't want to say living style, but it is in, a, in its own way. I'm not living any differently. Like, I'm not even going to get a new apartment. I'm not... I'm not even going to like buy anything crazy. The only crazy thing I bought that was a lot was that computer because I, I, I need it. If I'm going to start going into this now, my Apple Pencil should be charged plenty. Um, I'm not even going to be going, um, or I'm going, starting to make my way into what would be a professional field. Yes, I'm not a professional yet, but I need that computer for that, so... But I mean, it's changing my lifestyle and the fact that every day I would wake up and, you know, wonder, you know, do I have enough money for the rest of the month? And it's like, now I'm like, yeah, I do. I, if I, you know, quit my job, I have enough money for, you know, months. Um, and that's only for part of it. Like, I, I, let's just say I'm, uh, the way my contract's based is I'm not getting everything right now, so, uh, everything will, everything will go cool. Everything will go great. The company's awesome, the people are awesome I'm working with. Everything's awesome with them, so, I'm really looking, and let me tell you, they have an all-star team. They got some really good people. You, and if any of you on this stream think, wow, this guy's good, 
you should see some of the people that are in there. Like, some of them blow me out of the water, so, at least in my opinion. So, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. This magazine's gonna make a pretty big boom when it hits. And it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit hard. It's gonna get big. Fast. And this is, uh, much different than doing work for free because I have so much more motivation and uh it's I mean it's it's awesome I <laughs> there's not a whole lot of words to describe it finally getting my new computer thanks to you know my art my art got me my first computer that is I'm really really stoked about that that's so toit. Anyways. Um uh, <clears throat> Man, that's awesome. Um uh... <laughs> The inescapable dark. Uh, yo, Devin and I, George, say hi. No, I, well, hello. Hello, guys. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Some of the employees from my work, they dipped out as fast as they could. They're like, I'm out. <laughs> no. But yeah, they're cool guys. I have to hit you guys up sometime. from Quebec. Speak French fluently? That's tight. You guys are having, having, having a talk session. Is there ever a pen pressure update on the iPad? Um... That's from uh, Johnny. Um, no. It's literally just it works. And that's ha Apple's whole thing. It works. Which, you know, it doesn't, you know, for certain <laughs> pro products, it doesn't always just work. But in this case, so far from what I've done, this literally just works. There's really no calibration or anything. Um, there's calibration within the apps. Uh, but not the pen itself. This thing is honestly amazing with pressure sensitivity. The only thing that's limiting it are the apps themselves. Um, I'm doing something else here. Okay. And that's that's one of the reasons why I'm getting this Mac uh, to use AstroPad. If any of you don't know what AstroPad is, basically it's an app with two versions, there's AstroPad and AstroPad Studio, and AstroPad Studio is for more professionals, um, and basically it's an app that mirrors your Apple, your your MacBook Pro, any Apple products that's like a desktop screen or, or laptop screen, it mirrors that screen onto your iPad and brings over the pressure sensitivity that it offers. Uh, with with the program that you're using, like m most people actually refer to for Photoshop, that's what a lot of people are using on it. But yeah, Photoshop. Uh, you can use the Apple Pencil, and it has its full pressure sensitivity functionality on Photoshop, which I've heard people say that, you know, with Studio, the Studio Pro version, there is a very thin line between the Cintiq and the iPad Pro experience. And um, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I'm sure the Cintiq is better, I would say. But I'll also let you guys know what I think as just someone who's used an iPad Pro. And if you're thinking about getting a computer and you don't want to drop... See, here's this is also how I look at it. I am 
dropping this money on this computer that'll last me probably about six, five, six, five to seven years. And um, I don't have money for a Cintiq right now. Or I don't want to spend the money for a Cintiq right now. I feel like this program will be able to get me by just fine. And then one day when I get a Cintiq, I can just use it on the computer that I bought. So it's a win-win for me right now because, I mean, I already have my drawing tablet. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. I'm really trying to get some some shapes back here. I've noticed a lot of time in my drawings, um, they look really smooth and really, really refined in some spots. And I don't always want that. See, like, this hatchiness a little bit here, I might want to keep that a little bit. I don't want to go into as much, like, normally I would really figure out what is going on here, and I would put all the borders, and I would fix it up, put wires, you know, ledges, and ledges are good and everything, but, um, they're important, but you don't always have to do that type of stuff, like, when it comes to the far away things, and I used to always do that, and I need to start doing more, like, if it's far away, it's gonna start blurring, I mean, it also depends on the camera, too, how you're doing your camera, because something up close to you might actually blur, too, depending on where the camera's focusing, but, um, let me see if there's any stuff here. Oh, you got some awesome news, Sandino? Sweet! I uh, can't wait to hear it, man. I hit you up. Have you ever thought of collabing with White? White Manga? Um, not really. I mean... He's an all like he's a really good artist, and I mean, honestly, if he went in a collab, I totally would. Uh, he was also in the company that I left, and I don't think they would be happy if I collabed with him. Um. But yeah, no, White Mong is a really good artist. He's got a lot. He's got a lot going for him. Apple Black's pretty tight. Like Sano. But yeah, I've been, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to try to collab with some people, you know, as I go on. I, I did a collab with someone a little while, a little while ago and, uh, you know, establish friendships. It's awesome. Maybe me and her will do a collab again sometime, you know, when she's improved a lot. I feel like I've improved a lot as well. We might be able to do some really good collabs, but I also want to, um, do better on my uh, channel. So that way, you know, it's more benefit, it's beneficial for both. Because that, that one, I felt like it, w it was also just for fun, too. But it was definitely more beneficial for me than it was for her. She, she, that was really nice of her to do that with me. But then again, maybe maybe it was an investment for her. Maybe she was like, ah, oh, this guy, he's going to be good one day. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Nah. But, yeah, that was a really fun one. I think uh, her name's like uh, Nest Cafe. Yeah. But yeah, if White wanted to do a collab, I totally would. Stuff is dope. I feel like me and him would be able to crank out something pretty tight. Mmm. Remember, you posted a couple pics of Steam Link on your Instagram. I think it's the first competition you said. Oh, that competition? I don't think the results are up yet. I really don't. Um, unless they came out in the last, like, day, because I seriously checked that thing, <laughs> like, every other day. There was a point where I was checking it every day, but I stopped. 
And so now I've been checking like every day to every other day. But um, I also don't think I won or I don't think I will win either. Suck down the rest of my coffee. But yeah, I really don't think I'm going to win that. If I did, I would be like, holy moly. I'd be like, yeah. Look who's moving up in the world. My pen. No, I'm kidding. Oh my gosh, I really have to pass some gas, but I'm not going to because that's mean. And what site did you get manga paper? Are you talking to me or someone else? Um, if you're talking about actual, like, are you talking about, like, digital sheets that you can do? Or, or are you talking about, like, you're talking about, like, actual paper? Um, because if you're talking about actual paper, uh, go to Deleter. Deleter is the best one that I know of. And that's where I always got my traditional supplies from. Z not, and when you, if you ever go get a G pen, get the Zebra G pen, not the other G pen. That thing freaking sucks. That's not what they use. They use the Zebra, Zebra G pen. That, that's the real one. That's for the homies. Homies, I don't even know why I said homies. I don't even listen to rap. Mm -mm -mm. Jeff, Jeff Watt, what's up, man? It's funny, Blanc Noir, that you say you're a jack of all trades. See, uh, I was listening to Anthony Jones' video yesterday, and he was quoting something else someone else said, and it was so good. Because you hear someone that's saying, like, no, that guy's just a jack of all trades, like, and a master of none. And I've been having this internal battle lately where I really want to learn how to paint to, like, the highest level. I want to learn how to do, like, hyper-photorealism. And it's just this, like, competitive spirit in me when I see it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I feel like I would never be able to do that. And then I'm like, I'm going to do it. And I've been having, I had this part where I was like, no, I really want to become a manga. Like, that is my dream. Or just a comic artist. Manga. I want to do it in manga style. But, yeah. And, but... To go that route, there's a lot to learn, and I also still have a lot to learn about manga. I need to do both. And he said, someone once said, um, you can be a jack of all trades, but make sure you're a master of one. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and I feel like in the art field, that's totally possible, too. You can totally be a jack of all trades with the art field and a master of one. Unlike, you know, if you're talking about, like, building a whole house, there's so much to be a master at. Because that's where I first heard about master of, uh, uh, jack of, jack of all trades. Was, you know, from, like, m mechanics or from, like, um, I forgot what they're called. house builders, carpenters, whatever, <laughs> people like that, electricians, them too. You think you have a zebra, but the nibs have rusted? The nibs have rusted? Where do you store it? What do you do? How do they rust? You just like leave them in water or something? I've been in this back area for a little while now. I think I want to do something a little different for you guys. So you, you guys are seeing the boring stuff right now. The stuff that kind of puts the image together, which is the boring stuff. 
but it's also useful to know about. I'm also experimenting with this. I don't know how this will work. I will, if it's working or not. Oh my gosh, am I on the wrong? Ah, oh, I've been doing this on the wrong layer. All the, all the darks. Son of a darkness. Darn it. Whatever. I hate that. Anyways, I want to let you guys know how Astropad turns out for me because I am looking forward to that like crazy. Uh, people oh, keep on always talking about it. They always keep on talking about yeah, the iPad doesn't have the pen, the stylus thing that hovers. And I was just kind of like, I, I myself don't give a crap about that. Because, I mean, first of all, I pretty much have a set idea of what my brush size is going to be when I go to use it anyways. And, um... I don't know, I never really cared about that. I think the only time I really cared was obviously when you're using a graphics tablet because you're looking at the screen and then the tablet's below you. So you literally have no other choice but to follow that um, little that little dot. You have to or else you there you wouldn't even know where the pen is. But when you have the pen in front of you, you're fine. I feel like you're just fine. Especially if you're working at, like, the same canvas. Just know know your pressure sensitivities. Like, I don't know. When I feel like once you get to know your tools well enough, you know how hard you press versus how big it will get. And even if you change the size of your brush and you want to know that real quick, you just be like, hmm... And then you stroke off to the side, and you're like, okay, 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 okay. So I know if I'm going to do this. It's, I mean, I never found it that big of a deal. Because most of my brushes, when I use them anyways, they never filled up the whole circle to begin with. So if you're looking at it for more accuracy, it's still, for me, it didn't even matter. Because it never filled up that whole circle, so it never gave me that, oh, okay, this is... The edge of the circle so if this circle goes out somewhere once I touch the screen with my pen it's gonna go outside the line or something I never had that problem because I just really went based off the size that the pen was going when I put it down on the screen because there are some pens that I had that had like a huge circle they had like a huge circle what the heck just happened there Hmm. And I did like a huge circle and then like I would press really hard and its dot would only get like this big or maybe like that big. I was like, what the f <laughs> And it was just the settings that it was on. But it was a brush pack that I bought. But I'll definitely let you guys know how that turns out. I mean, I am doing the boring stuff right now with you guys. I'm filling in the black windows. You guys are like, what is he doing? I'm going to start um, doing some shading on him real quick. But, um, because we are coming up to an hour here. So, almost an hour. So, I'm going to actually get some blotches for the, for the ground. So that way I can get that, because I know the ground is a little off from what it should be. <clears throat> the ground should be a lot lighter than what it is. Although, it's also a lot freaking darker. Uh, let me see if I want to change the... Isn't concrete enough? But it's too brown. I don't want to make it too, like... <laughs> Ew. I 
There's a reason I chose that color to begin with anyways, because of the lighting. But I'm going to have to figure some stuff out as I go. I think I'll actually leave it like that, and then I'll put the light. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'll grab the light, go forward, <laughs> and then I'm going to start airbrushing some stuff in. Give some of the lighting effects I want. Because this is actually supposed to be much... This ground is supposed to be supposed to be much lighter because of all these lights. I just made it really dark. Actually, I'm going to make it really light because it's, it's dark outside, but it's going to be very light in spots, and then it's going to be very, very dark in others because of the shadows, the types of shadows it's going to be. Make the shadow underneath him. These are all. I just want to get a rough idea of how this is going to start looking. Because as long as I get like the zoomed out version and I start seeing how it's going to pan out, I can start getting a rough idea of what I'm going to be doing with this. Then I can go in and do all the little details. Yeah. I need to get a new glove too. The side of this glove is starting to like somehow register as my hand. They're not like the holes are getting a little wider, but not wide enough that my. Fingers are actually touching the screen. They're just like starting to register as a hand. It's actually on the screen now. Some comments here. <laughs> the heck? Whoa, there's a lot of comments. What's up, bro? I'm still here, guys. I'm just reading some of these comments. <laughs> Photo realism is easy, but <laughs> manga style is hard. Moving to like a more stylistic stuff. Yeah, I'm somewhere the opposite way. Well, I mean, I'm learning photorealism, though. Oh, not photorealism. I mean, I kind of am. But, like, photorealism is crazy. I, wait, no, I think there's photorealism, then there's, like, hyper-photorealism that, where it literally looks like it's a person standing there in a picture. 
and there's this like German artist that is ridiculous. He does like paintings. Uh, the st uh, well, obviously, but he the paintings are ridiculous. I don't know, some people like it. I'm looking at you, Chris. You're looking at me? See me through my window? Where are you? Um, heard of. Last name, Thomas. No, I haven't. Did he do Boondocks? Animated version? Yeah, very talented dude. Yeah, I've never heard of him. Yeah, Boondocks look, the uh, animation looked pretty crisp. He works on Legend of Korra, that's tight. Mike Dargas. Hmm, I'll have to look at him. Look him up. Alright, I'm gonna get back to some of this. And I'm probably not gonna be on too much longer here, guys. My phone's at 40%. Last time it got too far down, it was like <laughs> the battery shot down so fast, it was ridiculous. So, I'm gonna do some fun stuff now. I'm actually going to start. I'm going to start getting some of the face down. Actually, I'm going to start getting some of the hair down real quick. Hair is not going to be very hard. It's just I want to make sure that I'm doing this. His body is very, it's not lit up at all. And I need to fix that. The mother, no, oh. the hell. But yeah, I'm super excited about my computer. Oh my gosh, 16 gigs of RAM. That I've heard that that's a real beast. Cause I know you can go up to what 32 and then 64 or something like that. And uh, yeah, I heard 16 gigs is a beast for what I'm doing. Cause I literally, when I'm doing this stuff, I literally only run. Um, what's it called? Uh, I pretty much only run that program. I don't run anything in the background. That's what I'm used to with my other computer. I mean, like, even if I did run something in the background, it wouldn't, I don't know. I would, I mean, see, I might be able to do streams. Well, I might, not might, I can. I can totally do streams um, uh, with the Apple the Apple, the iMac. Um, of course, there might be a camera pointing at my face. I'm not, 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 not super ecstatic about that. But uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna have to get my uh, desk all cleared out, which I'm gonna be doing tonight. Where I, as I'm like finish, like getting this towards its complete final stages, um, I am also gonna be doing some more of the storyboard, finishing that up for the company, and I have to do. I have to, uh, look how orange it is on my phone. I have to clean up this thing. If you're wondering about the teddy bear, my mom gave that to me. Don't make fun of me. It's super blurry. It won't freaking focus. Focus. It doesn't want to focus because it just doesn't want to. Um, but yeah, this is my desk. It is very, very dirty, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, like, look at all these papers, like, what? 
and I can't, um, my little ninja guy, and, uh, if you want to see my little setup here, I just got <laughs> my, uh, uh, some handy dandy Full Metal Alchemist volumes propping it up, propping up my iPad with one of those, like, kickstand iPads. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this whole area up right here, um, the stuff on my wall, but I'm gonna be moving this lamp over here to give a nice little left hand lighting and then I'm gonna be like putting my iMac right here and yeah moving those obviously somewhere I have to clean this whole crap up I cleaned up the rest of my house earlier rest of my apartment earlier and cleaned up the rest of the room but my desk was like mm, that's a project in itself so I'm going to just <laughs> wait on that um mm, I want this to be I want this to have some some flair to it I want this to have like a color to it but I don't think it's gonna be a reddish yeah purplish And then into a red. No. Not like that. Not like this. You guys know what that's from? It's so, so uh, so vague that if anyone guessed that, that'd be crazy. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> and notice I'm trying to use the brush I use. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, for any of you guys that were that are on my uh, my uh, Facebook page, I finished this guy. <laughs> yeah, I finished him, and I'm super happy. Like this looks a lot different than what it actually looks like because of the the like my camera but yeah I finished this guy and uh, I wasn't really happy with it at first when I was like doing it and then as I kept on going um yeah I I'm 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 satisfied with it now but that's that I want to take stuff like this and bring it to the next level and be able to do those things where people look at, like, like Anthony Jones says, I didn't even notice this at first about myself. I want to be the person that inspires others. Like, they inspired me. And I want to give that happiness to those people, those aspiring artists, and give them the chance to have someone else they look up to. I'm not saying I'm going to have anyone that looks up to me, and, like, I just want to help other people out and create something awesome myself with manga or even just illustrations. All in all, just my art in general. read some comments here awesome that's awesome there's an animator just did animation your hands look cool your hands are you talking about my hands my hands look cool I don't know I don't... <laughs> are you talking about on like this guy's hands uh, thanks Thanks, guys, about the illustration. Anthony Davis, thank you. And, um, thank you, Blanc Noyer. Wow. 
watching you work and gain success over time has definitely been an inspiration. Inspiring me to love me. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm really glad I can be of, you know, any sort of help like that. Inspiration, whatever, you know? I mean, I'm... I never thought I would ever be... Like, these are the goals people have. And even though people, like, say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, oh, no, I'll do it. Like, you know, if I got, I, <laughs> I got, like, a really big, like, um, you know, anime character trait in me because, you know, I was watched, like, anime, manga, or read manga, Masashi Kishimoto, you know. I loved uh, Naruto, and I always got that, no, I'm going to do it, I can do this type of attitude. Uh, not always. Sometimes I'm, like, I beat myself up. If I can't do something, I'll be like, you're so freaking stupid. Every night, like, I look in the mirror when I'm, like, brushing my teeth, and I'm like, you could have done better today, and, you know, those are the things that you kind of, like, you say to yourself, that people find out later on when you're more successful, and they're like, you did that stuff? I thought you were just, like, this awesome person to begin with, but no, like, struggle's real, <laughs> I never thought I would get to the level I am now, let alone have a company want me, um, have, you know, people looking up to my art, people coming to me saying, wow, you're a professional artist now, I remember you back, like, year, a few years ago on DeviantArt, they're like, wow, you're a professional, I'm like, no, I'm not a professional right now, I'm not, like, that's the plain truth, I'm not a professional, and, I mean, what is a professional, really? Is it the quality of your art? Is it you making a, su a, a, like, sustaining a living off of your art purely? Is that what it takes to be a professional? Because if so, there's people who put blotches on canvas. Abstract art. With no real knowledge of, like... I'm not saying those people don't have knowledge of art, but it's just some people do that, and it's just like, it doesn't take real skill, like, compared to doing something just ridiculously crazy with paintbrushes and making it look super realistic, I, w I don't want to hear someone tell me that abstract art is harder than photorealism, because tell that abstract artist to do photorealism and tell the photorealism guy to do abstract art and I'm pretty damn sure the photorealism guy will be able to nail the abstract art way easier than the abstract artist. Uh, but then again, that there, I mean, there are cases where someone is just like a really good artist but they prefer abstract art. So, I mean, there are cases like that. So all my stuff that I'm saying is, I feel, is my opinion, so, everyone, everyone has their own opinion, ignore my weird sounds I make, I can't help it, I feel like the top of his head's too big, hmm, Who's your favorite mangaka and their art style? Um, my favorite mangaka is... Um... What the hell? I feel like... Uh, I feel like something just changed. Um... My, uh... My favorite mangaka is Masashi Kishimoto. And... His art style is beautiful. But I have to say my favorite art style... <laughs> is, um, I don't know, man, <laughs> there's a lot of really good ones, like, all of them out there are freaking awesome, um, but, oh, gosh, if I had to choose, it, I would have to say Takashi Obata is the freaking beast of them all, like, that guy destroys people, that guy is ridiculous, 
He's one of the best manga manga artists that will probably ever live. Like his stuff will go down history as being like just ridiculously insane. I mean, especially for the deadlines he has. I know he's just the artist, but when you actually try to do the stuff that he does, and then on top of if you know exactly how bad the deadlines are for those types of things, you'll have so much more respect for the people who do this. Because <laughs> some people are like, well, it's drawing. You like it. <laughs> it's not hard. Like, um, sure, man, whatever. Tell a football player after doing a whole game, no, you like it, you're not tired. <laughs> Come on. Same thing. They'd be like, well, it's not physical. Yeah, this is mentally exhausting. There are two... <laughs> you can get exhausted in different ways. Because when I first seen your art, I was amazed and seen variety. Are you talking about, like, variety of, like, the styles I use? Or just, like, a variety of, uh, like, styles in my art? Because, I mean, there are some... Well, see, I started off with really heavily following uh, other people's art, you know? That's what you should start off as, like, learning from their style, and then you can branch off on your own. I mean, that's how I think you get the best fastest, because you're learning from their stuff. Yes, a piece of theirs will always be from that base. That's why you're doing it from someone you really like. A piece of that will always be a part of... Uh, a piece of that will always be a part of your art. And you can t you might be able to tell just by looking at all my stuff. You could probably tell if I told you if you didn't know. My base is Masashi Kishimoto. Naruto. And <laughs> there's a point where I start glorifying uh, Takashi Obata to the highest extent. And uh, yeah. I couldn't for the life of me like get Naruto's style out. I mean, I started to, and I started straying away more and more, but it was a hard process, and I guess one of the reasons why I wanted to do that was I wasn't just, I was more studying Takashi Obata's style than trying to copy it at that time, um, because I didn't want to be the person that had the same style as that great mangaka, because it's like, you can obviously who's, see who... Uh, what inspiration they have and that's cool and all but I don't want someone to look at it and be like oh I'm a, a Takashi Obata fan like or Masashi Kishimoto fan or copycat or I don't want that type of crap like I never wanted that like the whole point is to have your own style and you let that grow on your own you don't don't force it um I mean, I'm sure there are some people that can force it and it might work for them, like creating their own style, like really try to figure it out. But all in all, I think that if you just let it go and just let it do its thing, the style will come. You should just learn how to draw. You need to learn everything else first. Because style doesn't mean squat if you can't draw good. So. I guess that's my new thing recently. Saying so really quietly. So. <laughs> so. But yeah, I can't stop thinking about that computer. Like, I dream about the computer. I can't go to bed when I'm thinking about it. When it gets here... It's going to be one of those moments when I'm holding it and, like, we're going in circles. And I'm like, na, 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 na. Even though I've never had a Mac before, so. But I've seen a lot of artists who have Macs, so I, I, I'm i guessing they're good. 
uh, Windows fanboy would be like, no, dude, they're crap. I think, uh, <laughs> I think they're good computers, you know? I think almost all, a lot of computers are really good nowadays. It's just really preference. I mean, of course, unless we're getting into specs, of course, yeah, because some computers are just going to destroy others. But I'm just talking about branding. A lot of them are very similar in quality. Or at least if some of them aren't, <laughs> what the hell are they doing? It's 2017. Get with the times. Okay, there's something weird here, and I think it's his face. I think it's the face color. I think I need to start putting in face color here because the hair is starting to look kind of weird for, I think I actually need to start making it lighter down to having it nice and dark down here. Let me try to small airbrush this, try to get this to a good, good color. I also feel like the color of this is definitely off. Uh, well, uh, I think I'm going to start doing something a little more fun and then I'm going to head out. I'm going to start doing his jacket. See, it should be closer to that blue, but I didn't want it to blend in with the background, but we are going to have to fix this jacket, this sweater, um, like right now. Uh, you. I think that's looking good. It looks better than the other one. It looks kind of blue, but that's okay because how the lighting's going to be. I think I'm just going to um, take a more yellowish tinted lighting. Kind of go. And it seems really weird. I think I need to go more orange. Because hmm. with this, what I wanted to do was I wanted to I, I wanted to give it a really like one of those feelings where it's really dark and with his hoodie and then there's just like the you see like the light starting to just move on the sweater instead of giving it too much gradation and see that's too orangish should have made it a little bit more yellow Maybe a thin lighting down here, you know, and then some fading up. Ooh, no, that looks horrible. <laughs> but, uh. But yeah, that's what I was looking to do. I don't know if it's gonna work out like that. Uh. I'll probably figure it out, as you guys can see from my last video with Mr. Orbhead, whatever you want to call him. Um, I call him Korg, but uh, the title of the drawing is Korg Last Impact, or Last Approach, yeah. But as you can tell from that one, that one drastically <laughs> changed from what it looked like when I was streaming with you guys. Because, you know, I just don't know enough yet that every, it's like every drawing or painting is a new experience and I'm learning new things from it. 
but I feel like there's going to be a time where I'll have something set and I can just like slam things out, but right now I'm definitely in the process of experimentation. See, that's a little bit better, this color right here, for the highlights, because then I could have done it duller and then gone over with a much, much lighter uh, spots for like the emphasized um, shines on this hoodie. Yeah, I'm definitely liking that a little more. But I will definitely be fixing this up as I go along because it does look a bit strange in some areas. I always feel more pressure on myself for paid works to make them look as good as possible because, I mean, they're paying you for their time. For, for, their, for their time. For the product, I mean, I, I don't want to waste someone's money. Like, I would be pissed if someone gave me a piece of crap and I paid for it. So, hey, <laughs> I'm sympathetic in that way. I'm not one of those people that are like, well, I was having a bad day, so deal with it. I don't want to. I want to do that, but it does cause me to slow down on my on my work, and I hate that. I honestly hate being so slow sometimes at drawing, and I just need to do speed practices and and stuff, and also learning this stuff to like a T will really help me too, to like know what colors to use when will really, because coloring is a huge weak point of mine, so knowing what color to use when will drastically improve my speed, because if I knew which color, I would start lighting this super fast and simple, and then I'll go into more detail later on. Actually, I'm going to fix color of this up here. Let me just start going inward in this because a little bit too much I feel. It's starting to look a little better. Still got a lot of work to do on it. Not a lot, but a lot to figure out more so. It's for me it's more of the figuring it out and then once I figure out exactly what colors I need to use on it to make it look right, then that's when it just kind of starts flying because once I know what I need to do, I can just do it. Um, let's see if there's any comments here. Oh, you meant that my art made you see a variety of manga styles when you saw it. Oh, that's cool. I mean, at least you can't see exactly what it is. No. Uh, da -da -da. Max are pretty good. I had a pro. Yeah, I, I honestly, I haven't tried a Mac, so I'm pretty sure Macs are great, but um, PCs, all I know is from everything I've seen, PCs are massively cheaper. Like, I actually looked up some stuff with almost the same specs as the computer I'm getting as a laptop for a PC. The laptop was literally half the freaking price. Wait. Da, 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 da. Yeah, half the price. And I was like, holy crap. Laptops are normally more expensive because if you're packing all that stuff in, they're, like, charging you for the fact that they have to pack all that stuff in there. <laughs> you got to design it like that. It's harder to do that, so they're charging you. But And also for the fact that it's mobile. But, um, yeah, I mean, that was crazy when I looked at that. I was like, what the heck? Mm-hmm.
You see more of uh, Bones Animation Studio. Never heard of Bones Studio. Studio Bones Animation. Um, Soul Eater, Full Metal Alchemist. When I see your art style, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I love Full Metal. Honestly, I mean, Full Metal's tight. But I never really read. <laughs> okay, that's so stupid to say. I never really read the manga, and I have it all right here. I read this a long time ago. I don't remember most of it. I mean, not the say I don't know the story because I watch uh, Brotherhood so I know the story for sure um, but I don't really know a lot of the art style from like my mind when like when I, I can think of like Naruto scenes off the bat no problem man um, Blanc Neuer, I'll see you next time, and thanks for dropping in, uh, yeah, see you next time, and I'm actually probably going to be heading out here myself, um, let me see, I'm going to do a little bit more, let me see if I can, like, airbrush this to give it, yeah, yeah, who likes that? Okay, I probably shouldn't say that. That's not all sorts of weird. Um, um, uh, probably going to give, like, a slight glow to a certain part. Uh, it looks a bit weird. I am definitely going to do it to a specific part, like, down here. But not all over. Only a specific parts where I know like light is really gonna be hitting him, but he knew. Hopefully this thing, I'm gonna try my hardest to make this thing come out awesome. Because I mean, look at this epic pose. Who didn't love that? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Love the epic pose. But yeah, you guys can also check out um, the, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, yeah, all the links, you guys probably already saw it in the links when I told you to go down there before. Um, yeah, the links in the description, uh, you can go to the Loa comic uh, Instagram. And they'll be posting updates of my stuff, even, sometimes even before I post them, honestly. <laughs> and they post uh, updates on there for their art. And uh, for the art of uh, like their series that I'm working on with them, so yeah, definitely go check it out. It's uh, I think it's the second second link in my description. So I'm back, drawing again, and started working on manga and an art style. Keep mixing realism with art style, which is a no. <laughs> yeah, well, it depends how you mix it with it. <laughs> a lot of the time, it starts looking really bad, but I mean. I, I think the closest to awesome with that is like Takashi Obata's really close to realism stuff. That stuff is awesome. Um, let me see if I can just get some stuff in here. Just trying to get. God, man, I need to get this color right because I want to start blending in some stuff as I go to make this color not so. Get the colors right. Get the. Oh, got to grab the black. Wow, that looks really dark in, on the phone screen. Holy moly. Probably because this is so freaking bright over here. <laughs> when I zoom up, it's just like black. But I have high hopes for. Astropad, because Clip Studio, I, I'm not going to stop using um, Procreate, but Clip Studio is like my home, That's, that, and I mostly do manga stuff, so um, that stuff, that's going to help me do things much faster, but yeah, especially like screen toning, 
The blurriness of the Medibank screen on this size version of the iPad is really annoying for screen toning because when it's blurry, I can't tell if the screen tones are right or not. And when you're on deadlines you're <laughs> and you're panicking, uh, yeah, it doesn't work very well. You're just like, Bleh. But I don't think that's as much of a problem if you have, like, the smaller iPad. Alrighty. Well, I wish I could have gotten a little bit more of this done, but this is all I got for now. Um, if you guys want to see the finished version of this, uh, you can always follow the Loa page in the description. And you can also follow me on my Facebook and in any other of my social media, but my Facebook is what I'm mostly active on. Um, I am going to be a little bit more busy with this publication, so, yeah, but I'll also be doing some videos of that pub publication as well, and I'll definitely be doing videos about my computer, and, well, it's probably be mashed up into a live stream, showing my computer, and then, like, doing some art and stuff in Astropad, and then I'll probably do, like, a real review or something. Maybe I'll do a live review, who knows, but anyways, guys. I gotta get going. Um, I'm gonna get some quality alone time with this guy. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Um, if I miss anyone's questions, you can always ask me next time. Uh, maybe I'll do a live stream on... Actually, I will try to do a live stream or at least upload some videos on uh, Saturday because that's my day off. But I also need to make sure I get a lot of work done other than that for uh, like Loa and... Um, the serialization I'm going to be with. I need to use my day off really wisely for those. But yeah, I'm going to try to do something for my YouTube channel on Saturday for sure. And sorry guys, I'm glad you guys heard me ramble for an hour and 34 minutes. I need to keep these down to an hour. That's what I want to do. I feel like that's a happy spot, you know. Anyways, so I've got, uh, yeah, you can see me on my other social media. Let me see what's going on here. All right then. And it's cool, and then you know, look sort of cool in the head. Don't forget the black. Oh, <laughs> hey, yeah, no, I will. I'll, I'll get it there, man. Don't worry. I'll get it there. I'm gonna be looking at uh, some of the reference when I, I I gotta go and look at the reference while I'm coloring this, and uh, I'm gonna make sure I got everything how it's supposed to be. So don't worry about that. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you for coming in.